Hello again, this is Captain John with another one of my video tips of the week. In today's video tip, I'm going to show you seven ways to make life easier when short or single-handed sailing. If you expect a reefing breeze once you encounter clear water, set the reef now while inside your slip or alongside a pier. Check the sea conditions in your sailing area from a tall vantage point like a building or elevated position. Whitecaps signal a reefing breeze. Know how to sweat a halyard. If you lose a winch handle overboard, you can still get sufficient halyard tension. Wrap the halyard two times around the winch drum. Remove the slack and hold tension on the tail with your non-dominant hand. Grab the standing part of the halyard with your dominant hand at about chest height. Pull back hard, and as you do, remove the slack. Repeat this technique until you have enough tension on the hired. Make up the line to the cleat when done. Remember to slack under the boom controls before hoisting, reefing, or backwinding. We've all hoisted a sail and had it stop partway up the mast, and most often we forgot to slack the main sheet or boom vang all the way. Remember this also applies before you push the boom out against the wind, called backwinding, to stop the boat or to dig in an anchor. Slack all under boom controls before you push the boom against the wind. Know how to depower a sail when you experience excessive heel or weather helm. Slack the main sheet in gusty winds to add twist to the top of the mainsail. On smaller sailboats, you could scandalize the mainsail in an emergency. Slack the main sheet and boom vang all the way as discussed in the previous tip. Then push the end of the boom straight up. This causes the sail to curl and dumps high octane wind up high. On a headsail, it may be easier to move the sheet blocks aft a few inches. This puts more tension on the foot and less tension along the leech to depower a headsail. Keep working to windward if your destination lies upwind and the wind lifts or shifts away from the bow. You may be tempted to ease the sheets for a more comfortable reach, but a better tactic can often be to sail higher and remain close hauled until your destination draws a beam. Then ease sheets to sail downwind on an easy final leg. Maintain momentum at all times when sailing. This becomes even more critical in light air, and especially when tacking. Sail a close reach before the tack to build up speed. Use just enough wheel or tiller to get the bow through the wind. Ease the rudder earlier than you think necessary so that you can stop the boat's heading when she settles on a close reach. This will help you keep the boat driving ahead with good power. You can always use the higher to adjust tension in a mainsail, but you can also use a device called a Cunningham, which is a small ring installed about 6 to 9 inches above the tack. Tie a line off to a strong fitting near the base of the mast on one side, thread it through the Cunningham ring, and attach it to a cleat on the other side near the base of the mast. Now you can adjust tension and draft in the mainsail without the multiple steps necessary to use a hired. Follow these seven sailing tips to save time and effort aboard your small sailboat. This is Captain John, and this has been another one of my video tips of the week. Find more sailing tips and techniques on www.skippertips.com.